Hey everyone, Ramel here, and today I'll be doing a quick unboxing and review of the Elgato Stream Deck. This is the 15 key version, but there's also the mini 6 key, as well as the extra large 32 key. The Stream Deck is a small device that has 15 customizable LCD keys. So it's kind of like a keypad, except every single one of these keys you can customize from its functionality all the way to what's displayed on each of them, which is very, very useful. Um, if you're using, say, a keypad or a numpad, you don't really have that customizability and you're left with memorizing um, exactly what key does. But if you're using the Stream Deck, you can quickly glance at it and you know exactly what um, the button is going to do, especially if you have multiple profiles and different folders. The Stream Deck is a tool meant to help streamers and gamers manage their streams and workflows without having to memorize a bunch of hotkeys and alt tabbing all the time if you want to switch scenes. Um, it makes everything really easy, but I do also plan on using it for video and photo editing. So I'm just going to have a bunch of macros and uh, hotkeys that I'd normally press um, and normally use, and I'll just have it all in the stream deck and see how that is. I'm also quite curious how I can use it for my programming job, um, whether that is having a button that will run my tests automatically, um, opening certain folders using terminal and all that other stuff. That's something I still really need to figure out, but I do see some benefit um, to using this while programming. When I started streaming, I knew I wanted a stream deck mostly because of how easy it makes managing my streams. I don't have to memorize different hotkeys. I can record and do all that other stuff with just a single press of a button without having to memorize and interfering with potentially other hotkeys for that game. Um, I didn't get one right away because I didn't know I was going to be sticking to streaming. Um, as with everything and all my other hobbies, I kind of tend to jump off the deep end right away. And most of these hobbies I don't stick to. So I really wanted to set a goal for myself and that was to reach affiliate. And if I managed to reach affiliate, I would get the stream deck. I hit affiliate three weeks ago, so I got a stream deck right after. I did get it down in the States while I was down there. It was only 125 US dollars compared to the $200 retail here in Canada. So I saved about 20 or $30 after conversion, which to me was a good enough deal to get it. Anyways, let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, there is the stream deck. The USB cable is already attached to the Stream Deck. That's something that I wish was detachable, um, but it is three feet long. For me, that's not too bad because I plug it into my monitor. Um, and when I'm using my mouse and keyboard, it's right in front of me. But when I'm using the wheel, I pull it up. So the three feet length is perfect. But I do understand that it could be pretty small, especially if your desktop is on the floor. Um, but if I plugged it into my desktop right now, I think I would have enough um, cable to be able to pull it um, towards me while I'm using the wheel. Um, there is also the stand and you can lay it flat and there's other notches on the stand if you want to use it. The LCDs on the Shroom Deck are okay. I don't really have too much to say about them as long as they display what I need. I'm happy. I have heard that some people have experienced burn-in so I do my best to either turn off the Stream Deck by setting it to sleep for five minutes or shutting down my computer. I haven't had any issues with key presses either. They all feel pretty nice. Um, it's not mechanical. Getting started with the Stream Deck is pretty easy. All you have to do is plug it into your computer and head over to the Elgato website where you download the Stream Deck software. Whatever is active on the Stream Deck is what you'll see. Um, so to start off, all you get is this welcome screen and you can press it. If you press it, you'll see that it activates. It'll open the Chrome browser and bring you to the Elgato website. Um, and to change that, all you do is on the right hand side, you can pick, for example, if I wanted to um, open a different website. I can go into the system tab here, drag it onto the Elgato and uh, drag it onto the Stream Deck and you can see that it is on the on the Stream Deck now. And then it doesn't really do anything because I haven't programmed it, but let me show you guys what I do have. So while I'm not streaming, I have um, this profile active and this is my just using the computer 
profile. Um, I have some buttons here that will launch Premiere, Photoshop, or After Effects, and then I have the two common games that I play up here, um, as well as some of the programs that I use down here. And the bottom row opens the, the respective website. So with the press of a button, I can go to my YouTube dashboard, my Twitch dashboard, or Open Chrome, which is really, really handy, as well as Spotify over here. Um, I do have, I do use the multi scene or multi action. Um, and if I don't have OBS open, this opens OBS as well as switches my profile to my OBS profile. So there is a bug in the software where when I do press that button, it resets this profile. So I kind of have to figure that out. Um, but right now it's pretty basic for what I need. I, I have added more scenes, but that was just wiped. Um, here I have, you'll, you'll see when I press the button, like this is my F1, you'll see that it switches to my F1 scene on OBS and then I can switch to my webcam scene right over there. And then I can also switch to Apex. And then if I wanted my just starting, my please stand by. Um, so everything happens on the stream deck without me having to alt tab. And that's very useful because I have been switching between um, my camera as well as my F1 when there has been some downtime um, while I'm waiting for lobbies and stuff like that. Another thing I really like is that I have a live viewer count um, over here. So I don't have to look to see how many viewers are watching. Um, it'll just update there. And as you can see here, there is the record button where I can hit this to record. So it'll also record instead of just streaming. Um, I use this to mute my microphone. So that is muted. I do have a mixer now, so I don't really need this button anymore. And then the one that I really like is this clip button. Um, so when I press this button, it'll make a clip without me having to do anything besides that. It's not just keystrokes that um, the Stream Deck can do, it can actually call APIs. So if you have a service that you use and it has an API, you can probably program the Stream Deck um, to do something with that API. Um, and on the surface, there's only 15 keys, but as you use the Stream Deck, you can create a folder. And then over here, I can just add another folder and then another folder and another folder. So you can keep going as deep as you want. Um, and that's not something that I need. So I will delete that for now. Another feature that I haven't really used yet is the automatic profile switching. Um, so here in the profiles, you can specify what is active when a application is active. So when I do launch Premiere Pro, I do expect it to have my Premiere hotkeys only. Um, I haven't messed around with that yet. So I'll probably be doing that once I start using my stream deck more for editing and yeah there's just all of these things that you can just drag and drop and if you don't see something that you need you can hit more actions and then kind of install them as you go anyways that's gonna be it for me this video i hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys have any questions about the stream deck at all feel free to leave them down in the comment section below if you want to see it in action my twitch is twitch.tv slash forbidden x i stream every tuesday thursdays and saturdays um, and yeah, my next few videos are probably going to be audio related. Um, I do have my new audio set up and I have been using on stream. So I'll be making videos about that. Let me know what other content you guys want to see, whether it's programming, tech related, Twitch, gaming, leave them, leave them down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe. So you know when that content is out, that's going to be it for me. I'll catch you guys next week.